Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Envy, and today we're going to take a look at the Nokia C7. Quad band GSM covers all five of the 3G bands. Phone weighs in at 130 grams, which makes it a little bit lighter than the iPhone 4. Build quality, case itself is metal. We've got some high grade plastic or metal rim that encompasses the entire display. We've got some high grade plastic down here at the bottom near the two touch sensitive keys and one physical key. Taking a look around the C7 on the bottom of the lanyard loopholes. On the left hand side is the power port. On top is the micro USB port, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and power and lock key. On the right hand side, you've got volume rocker buttons up and down. In between those two, you've got a dedicated voice command key. Below that is your unlock and lock key and the dedicated camera key. On the back, you've got an 8 megapixel fixed focus camera with dual LED flash, offers geotagging as well as face detection. Video capture is 720p at 25 frames per second. Underneath the battery cover, you've got a 1200 milliamp battery rated at five hours of talk time on 3G. You also have your micro SD card slot underneath the battery cover. The battery needs to be removed to replace or exchange your micro SD card. As far as the display is concerned, you've got a three and a half inch AMOLED capacitive touch display showing 360 by 640 pixels offers multi-touch accelerometer sensor as well as a proximity sensor. In the upper right hand corner you've got a front facing VGA camera for video calls and just below the display again you have two touch sensitive keys, an end key and call key and then the physical menu key. As far as memory it has 8 gigabytes of internal storage, 256 megabytes of RAM, 1 gigabyte of ROM and internal storage can be expanded additional 32 gigabytes to the use of a micro SD card. C7 comes with Wi-Fi 802.11 BGNN, Bluetooth version 3 with support for A2DP, GPS with support for AGPS, it comes with OV Maps. It does not work as a Wi-Fi hotspot out of the box, but you can download applications from the OV store to enable it to be a Wi-Fi hotspot. Runs on Symbian version 3, and the processor is an ARM 680 MHz processor with 3D Graphics HW Accelerator. Let's take a closer look at the user interface on the C7, and again, it runs Symbian 3. You've got three different panels that you can customize, either with widgets, shortcuts, or bookmarks. You can also have a separate background for each one of the panels. A couple different ways to move between them. You can swipe through them, as I've just been doing, or you can tap down here at the bottom where you see the three dots, and we'll also move you between the three panels. To exchange or replace a widget, tap on Options, Edit Home Screen, Hold down on it, menu will come up, we'll hit remove, tap on the plus sign, and again these are the different widgets that are available that come with the phone, and again you can go down to the OV market and load more if you'd like. We'll put in a mail application, should give us a choice, we'll put in mail for exchange, and then we've got mail for exchange on our home screen. And again you can have up to six different widgets per panel, as you can see, or you can put one however you want to handle it. So there's a look at adding and subtracting widgets and a look at the three different panels. Take a look at the main menu and you've got your calendar, contacts, music, what you would expect under applications. Got your different applications here under your settings menu. Take a look at that. One of the things you can do with this is organize it. Click under options under organize. You can add a new folder as you can see here. Simply name it and set up your folder. Another thing that the main menu key does is open up your task manager. And there it is. It shows you the different applications that are running in the background. You see the telephone open, menu, calendar, web, photos, music player. And to close one of these down, simply tap on the X and it will shut that down. It's that easy. So there's a look at your task manager as well. You've got a number of shortcuts on the home screen. If you tap on the pro current profile, it will bring up the profile manager. Tapping on the clock will open up the clock application. Tapping on the date will open up the calendar. And tapping on the battery up here in the right hand corner will open up your connectivity manager as well. Also show you what uh, connectivity connections you currently have. That's the word I'm looking for. Take a look at a couple of the applications themselves. Let's go back to the calendar. There's your month view. You've got a week view, day view, and to do view. There's your week view as well. Take a look at Gmail real quick. And again, it's full HTML. Let's open one up. And we'll show images. And there's your Gmail. Take a look at messaging. It lays it out in a conversation format, as you can see there. 
and we'll go back to that and take a look at text input in a second. So open up contacts, and here's your contacts. You can set them up that way. You can also put them in groups. It also downloads your Facebook information as well and photos to contacts. All right, to place a call, tapping on the call key, first off, we'll open up your call log, your dialed numbers, receive calls, missed calls. Go under options, open contacts. If you want to call someone, simply tap on the letters as they disappear. There we go, there's me and two different numbers. And it'll give me a choice to pick one of the two and simply tap on one of those to place a call. It also, again, handles video calling, which I showed earlier. Take a look at text input real quick. We'll go into messaging. You've got a couple different choices. You've got predictive text with the uh, keypad. Works quite well. Call me on hit the star to change that. And then we'll take a look at the keypad in landscape. Call me on Wednesday. Got it. Four. There you go. And then to send it, you've got the little green arrow in the lower left hand corner. Hit send. You can also put in a smiley face as well. So there's a look at text input methods. So there's a look at the UI on the Nokia C7. Let's try opening up a number of applications on the C7 and see if we can bog it down or just see how well it handles it. Let's go to the music player first. I've got everything else closed down, but the music player, I did open this, as you can see, by the little dot. And uh, what am I looking for? There we go. Let's try to break my fall. So we'll run that in the background. And let's open up Gmail. I'll open it up pretty quick. Let's open up the gallery. All right, handle that pretty well. Let's open up the web in the background. Load a website. Oh, sorry about that. Inappropriate language. So I got the flash running. Almost loaded. There we go. Let's open up contacts. That opened very quickly. Now let's open up a video and run that. Zoom in a little bit. There we go, we got to focus back. All right, let's go to the uh, task manager and see so we had six applications open to menu, contacts, web, photos, mail, music, and also a video currently running. So it'll handle all those pretty well. So look at trying to overload the processor and slowing down the C7.